Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be using our two favorite iPad apps, LumaFusion and Procreate, to do this cool alien attack effect that looks like this. So before we jump into the iPad, if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. It costs you nothing, but it's a massive help to small channels like ours, and we really appreciate it. Okay, so here we are in LumaFusion, and I'm going to use this clip of myself standing in a forest talking to the camera, because that's what I seem to do a lot of nowadays. Now, it's important that you have this fixed angle, so mount your phone or your camera on a tripod or lean it up against something. Take a shot of the background on its own like this before stepping into shot. That's really important because we're going to be using that later on for this effect. For the sound effects, we're going to be using sounds from our Restless Creative Sound Effects Pack Volume 1, which you can get from a link in the description. It's just $3 and you get 80 completely unique original sounds created by ourselves. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is scroll on to where we want the effect to happen and we're going to go down to export at the bottom right of the screen here and we're going to export a snapshot. A snapshot is kind of like a secret weapon for these kind of quick effects because it exports a freeze frame of your video. So it's really important that you finish any colour grading or any scaling, any kind of adjustments that you've got to do that's going to determine the look before you export that snapshot. Okay, so once we've exported that snapshot, we're going to open that up in Procreate. We're going to create a new layer we're going to choose a blue colour. I'm going to choose the studio pen, make it as big as possible, and I'm just going to fill in around the subject with this blue. Once we finish that, we're going to export this. So we're going to go up to the little wrench icon in the top left. And we're going to choose Share, choose JPEG. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and choose Share to LumaFusion. And that will appear in your Imports folder inside LumaFusion. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hide that layer. We're going to create another layer. And then we're going to choose these luminance brushes and we're going to choose this light pen. Now we're going to make a nice gold colour. And the next thing we're going to do is, we're going to hit screen record. So once we're recording, what we're going to do is we're going to use that light pen to draw a straight line into the subject from the top of the screen. Okay, that's it. Once we've done that, we're going to stop screen recording. Now we're going to hide that layer. We're going to create a new layer. And still using that light pen, we're going to just very roughly draw a kind of blast like this over the top of our subject. You don't have to be neat with this because this will be on screen for a split second. We're going to choose the photo layer and we're going to bring up the brightness. Now we can export that layer, once again, share to LumaFusion. Okay, back in LumaFusion, we're going to drag all the content we just created onto the timeline. We're going to resize that screen recording so that it fits with the rest. And then we're going to crop it to where that light beam comes in. Slice there. Okay, so we need to speed that up. Go down to the little timer icon. And let's speed that up by four times. So let's see how that looks. Okay, that's great. Now this blast image that we've got, we're gonna shrink that right down so it's just one frame long. OK, 
Okay, let's move our background piece to the end. And so far it looks like this. Okay, that looks pretty cool already, but this is where the good stuff starts to happen, because this is where we move our blue screen clip over the top of our main timeline. We're gonna double tap that, go down to color and effects, go to the little key icon and choose blue screen. Now, as you can see, that's keyed out all the blue, so we've got our subject against our background. Now, this is where it gets really cool because we're gonna use some of the built-in effects in LumaFusion. So we're gonna go up to the little spiral icon for our effects. I'm gonna choose this big crystals effect. And now to get that disintegrating kind of effect, I'm gonna add keyframes. To change the radius. Now the next thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go to frame and fit, scroll down to blending, I'm going to choose opacity and I'm going to add keyframes there to bring the opacity down to zero at the end of the clip. Okay, so this is where we add the sound effects. So we're going to go into our documents folder. We're going to choose the Restless Creative Sound Effects Volume 1. And as you can see, all the sounds are broken up into different categories, different folders. We're going to choose these blast effects. And we can preview the sound first here. Okay, that sounds great. We're going to drag that to where that beam comes in. And then we're going to choose this impact effect from the impacts folder. Again, we can audition the sound first like this. And then we're going to drag that to where our blue screen comes in. And the end result looks and sounds like this. Okay, that was a little bit longer than the usual tutorials that we do. So if you have any questions at all, just ask me in the comments. We'll be really happy to answer anything. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.